In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of your Epson Workforce 2850 all-in-one printer. So this printer comes with the four ink cartridges. This is an inkjet printer. You get the power cable, manual and a CD to load the drivers. So let's do the setup. Press the power button. Let's do the initial setup. Go to the printer control panel. Select the language and press OK. Select the country. Select the season. Select the date format. And press OK. Select the time format. Enter your time. Next step is to install the setup ink cartridges that comes with the printer. So we have set of four ink cartridges. Take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging. You get set of four ink cartridges. Remove the yellow seal from this side and just do it for all four ink cartridges. So this is an inkjet printer. So that's our last ink cartridge. Lift your printer from this side. It will open the ink chamber. So ink chamber is there. We have to install the ink cartridges one by one. Let's start with the black. Match the color and the alphabets. Press it here. Place it here. Press it down. You will you hear a little you will hear a lock sound that means it is installed properly. So this should be going like this with the lock facing inside. And that's our last ink cartridge. Lift it little bit up and let it go down and lift it again. Go to the main screen and click on the installed. Wait for the printer to start the ink cartridges. It's going to take around 6 minutes. So we have to wait for that. Next is to do the print quality adjustment. So click OK. Adjust recommended. Click print. Now we have to load the A4 size paper or letter size paper. So you have to lift it from here. Adjust the size. Load the paper. Paper output tray is here. So you just have to slide it out. On the main screen click OK to start the printing. So that's the first print. So you can see there are disconnected lines, misprints. So you have to select the correct pattern. So I'm just going to select the one showing X. Press OK and click Next. Click Start. Print head cleaning is complete. Click on the check. So it's going to print a page. So you can see the lines has improved the O button and go ahead. Just to complete the initial setup I'm just going to go ahead. You can also align the print position to fix the misalignment and other bending. But I'm just going to do it later and press OK, click Dismiss, now click on the Proceed, select the correct paper, so we have already installed the letter size, plain paper, so we are done. If you want to set up the fax, you can do now, just connect with the fax line and click on the Start setting, so I'm just going to set up later. This is our printer's main screen. We can start using it for the copy. Next step is to connect it with the Wi-Fi network and then add in your laptop, Macbook or smartphone for wireless printing and scanning. So let's do the wireless setup first. Scroll ahead. Click on the settings. Click on the general settings. 
select network settings Wi-Fi setup Wi-Fi recommended start setup I'm going to use the Wi-Fi setup wizard if you want to use the push button you can do that or you can watch the video on that so go to the Wi-Fi it will display the list of Wi-Fi networks scroll down and select your Wi-Fi enter its password click on the start setup after you enter the password wait for the printer to connect with the Wi-Fi router setup is complete you can click on the dismiss click on the home button next step is to add this printer in your Windows laptop go to the web browser and type in Epson Workforce 2850 driver it will take you to the Epson website select your printer series on the next page you will see your printer scroll down it will show up the operating system look for the drivers and utility combo package installer and click download open file click yes press ok it will open the apps and download window this is the installation window accept the terms and conditions if you want you can deselect if anything you don't want and then click on the install click next select wireless connection if you are using a direct USB connection you can use that as well and click next on the next page select printer is already on my wireless network click next next you can click on the print test page we have to finish the setup process click next you can also set up the fax now or you can just do it later if you want to update you can do updating now and then click next it will take you to the product registration window and you can register your Epson printer close all other windows so this way we can do the complete setup of this printer with the Windows 10 laptop. Now we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. Printing is easy, you can just select any document and start the printing. For scanning you have to go to the search button. Click on the Epson. Scan to. So that's the app you have to open. In this app on the top section it will display your printer series. If you don't see it you can just scroll down and select from here. You can load paper on the ADF tray. So ADF tray is here. You can scan multiple pages with it. Click on the scan button on the app. Scan is done and you will see there is a window that is here. So the window will pop up and it will display your scan. So that is here. So look for the last scan it has done. So that's our scan image. If I double click on it, you can see it here. If you want you can also scan it in the black and white or you can scan it in the color. 
so this way we can do the setup of this printer and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning you can use the ADF tray to scan multiple pages you can use the scanner bed for passport ID and there are so many other settings you can just go to the display panel and do the settings for the copy and scanning thanks for watching